All right, everyone, welcome back. We've got another blade review here. We've got the Hanway Tinker Pierce Sharpened Bastard Sword. This is a double-edged blade we have available here at Cult of Athena. It's actually a favorite in the training version as well that we have available. Click the link below to check that out. And this one is a very simple design. We're gonna look at some specs inside the scabbard, out of the scabbard, and then we're gonna run over and do some cut testing. Let's get to it. All right, 42 and 3 8 inches overall length. We have a, um, not a threaded pommel. We have a nut construction pommel. So if we pull this in a little bit, got a little Allen key set. So if you wanted to change this blade out, this is available for you to do that. We also have replacements, replacement blades at coltbathia.com from Hanway. So it's a double-edged blade. Uh, blade length is a little bit over 32 inches, all the way from the very wide cross guard to the very pointy tip. Blade is somewhat narrow. It is a bastard sword. It's not a long sword, so it's somewhere in between, which is partially the reason why it's called a bastard sword. Steel quality, 5160 high carbon steel. Blade's a little bit over two pounds. This one is really versatile. The scabbard as well, it comes with a wood cord scabbard. It's leather wrapped. It's finely stitched on the back. We've got a steel tip right on the top toward the handguard. We also have a steel bottom to it. That way if the sword was down, you're not gonna slam the sword into the ground. If you do want like a sword hanger or something like that, in order to carry this, if you're doing reenactments, especially if it's a training version as well, or if you're doing cut testing, if you just wanna carry it, we have sword hangers and like belts and stuff like that available at coldlifting.com. Go ahead and click the link below to our other leather goods as well. So what I wanna do from here is now look at some up close looks at the blade in the scabbard and out of the scabbard. You'll see that it's a very simple blade, but I want you to be able to see what I do with this one. So let's get to it. Took a look at some specs of this in the scabbard, out of the scabbard. Let's run to the cut testing now and see what this blade can do. All right, let's go through some upward cuts with this thing. Let's see how it does. Kind of loose at the bottom, but probably get a good cut still. So we pull it through. It's a little bit of a party on that one. A little bit of that one. Hit some horizontals. Nice clean cut on that one. Slash that. And someone's going to ask. Yeah, you can thrust it as well. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that we work with here. So we're noticing a very clean cut in these horizontals. Obviously, there's no damage to the blade itself. If there was, it'd be, feel really bad for you. I'd tell you not to buy it, but that's not the case. No cosmetic damage at all. Really strong blade as well. So we're going to finish off the very bottom of this one. We'll do a few more horizontal slashes with it. So let's pan to that. All right, so another clean cut. And remember with these, you're soaking these overnight with the Tommy mats. We also have this cut stand available at cultwithina.com. We'll see that this is nailed into the ground. There's little stakes. So that way you don't have to worry about tipping it over, anything like that. So it makes it really, really simple for you to be able to do cut testing with one of these blades. All right, so there you have it, Hanway Sharpen Tinker Pierce Bastard Sword. This is a mouthful of words on this one. 
But so we look at some specs on it, up close looks in inside the scabbard, out of the scabbard, did some cut testing as well. If you like this blade, and you want to see more blades like this from Cult of Athena, we have a variety of different um, cultures within the Hanwei lines. So this is a bastard sword, we've got the Chinese line, we've got a bunch of other stuff as well, other Viking swords. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, I'll talk to you soon.